Hello, my name is Jendo and today I'm going to show you how to wire up a 2x2 flush piston door with using levers. So we've got one there on the outside and as you walk into your base there's another lever there to close it. Um, I did do a video of 2x2 flush piston doors, I put a link in the top right hand corner there. Um, but I didn't show you how to wire it up properly, somebody asked if I could show them so uh, here we go. This is the build. I uh, try to make it as compact as possible. But it's a bit tricky because you've got these pistons here. You don't want to start activating them with your redstone for the levers. And um, when you do two levers to open a door, you need to use an XOR gate. Uh, I did do a video of XOR gates. Uh, I'll put a link in the top right corner there for you. Um, and basically what that is, is you have a T flip flop connected to uh, some observer blocks. And that allows you to open and close with the levers. So, right, here we go. First of all, we're just going to build a standard 2x2 flush piston door. Like that. Need two blocks for the actual door. Um, and some blocks along the top there. And we put a repeater there on two ticks. Repeater there on two ticks and some redstone to connect it all together. And uh, yeah, there's your two by two, as you can see. But we want to wire it up with uh, levers. So uh, let's put a redstone lamp there and we'll block color of choice with the lever on the end of it. And then we want uh, an observer block there. An observer facing downwards like that, and a solid block on the top. Next, we do this side. Put a redstone lamp there with a uh, block of choice there. Put a lever on that, and then we need two observers going like that, and one observer pointing, well, facing down, pointing upwards. And uh, right, put a sticky piston there cauldron there and we need to uh, fill that up with water and let's just do some blocks there all right now we want that cauldron when it moves to fire a, to activate a comparator and we put some redstone dust there and that if i've done it right is our piston door activated with levers Simple enough and compact. Now, if you didn't want a lever at the front of your base, uh, which is understandable, yeah, let's just uh, fill this round a bit. There we go. Um, if you didn't want a lever, you want to use a hidden switch, then the uh, best thing to do really would be get rid of the lever, get rid of that lamp, and then we're going to change the position of that observer stick one there and keep running them up into a line there and if we go underneath what we can do is uh, run our redstone along here and uh, you can connect up whichever sort of hidden input method you're using underneath the build and as you can see the observer picks it up and it still runs uh, as it did when we had the lever there Okay, well thanks for watching, my name's Jendo and uh, I'll see you again soon, bye.